In this video, I want to show you how we can take the default line graph in Excel or PowerPoint and turn it into a professional looking line graph in seven steps. We start with the default line graph that's easy to create in Excel or PowerPoint. Step one is to replace the legend with direct labels. Whether you have one or multiple lines on your line graph, Excel or PowerPoint will always put a legend down at the bottom with the color of the line and the name of the data series. This makes the audience go back and forth in order to interpret the lines and which line means which data series. By adding direct labels on the end of the lines, this can be done using data labels and the series name, making the text the same color as the line, it makes it much easier for the audience to understand what each line represents. Step two, remove the grid lines or at least make them lighter. By default, there are grid lines, the horizontal lines that are on the chart. These, because it's a line graph, can be distracting if they are too prominent. In some cases, we can remove them because they're not needed. If you do need the audience to see a known horizontal line to be able to compare the trend in one of the data series, then leave them, but make them light. Use a medium gray and make them dotted. They are there but they're in the background and the audience can focus on the actual trends in the data. Step three, clean up the axes. The vertical axis has a number of uh, percentages on it that Excel or PowerPoint does by default. I think in many cases there are too many and they distract from the graph. So use the settings to be able to have fewer numbers on that vertical axis and then you also get fewer grid lines as well, which allow the audience to focus again on the trends in the data. Step four, consider selective data labels. Now, in most cases, data labels are not needed on a line graph because the message is about the trend. But there are some times where you may need to add a data label at the start point and the end point just so people can see the change. Or, in this example, we have a data label that indicates the maximum, a specific special spot on the trend that you want the audience to know about. But consider whether you really need data labels. Step five, add text that explains the message. By default, the chart title is literally just chart title. But what we want is we want a meaningful title. So we add a message title to make sure that the audience understands what the message of this particular chart is. and then we can add explanatory text in as part of the graph so that they know exactly where within the graph that message is shown. Step six, increase the font sizes so they're easy to read. By default, the fonts are quite small in all charts. When we increase the fonts, we make that text much easier to read and the audience can now understand the graph because they can read the explanatory text. Step seven, use color to focus attention. By default, each line is shown based on the setup of the colors in the color scheme in PowerPoint. We want to be deliberate about our choice of colors. We want to use colors for the trends that we want the audience to focus on and use a muted gray for the other lines that we still want to be there, but we don't want to be the focus of the audience. So we've transformed the default line graph to a professional looking line graph. We took the default line graph and we turned it into, through these seven steps, into a professional looking line graph. If you found this video helpful, there are three things you can do to help me out. First, click the like button below the video on YouTube. Second, leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And third, subscribe to my channel. Check out my websites and other videos with more tips and advice. Thanks again for watching.